no hi students uh, in this video i'm going to talk to seventh class students uh, students in the previous class i have given you introduction of the chapter what is motion and what is rest so based on that some activities are there in the textbook uh, activities based on the movement of the object in a uh, straight line the movement of object in straight line and the movement of object in curve line and the movement of object in a circular path there are various activities given in the textbook uh, i will show the pictures on the screen you just keep on observing them and uh, and try to answer to the questions okay students yeah see the images on the screen yeah on the screen if you see uh, there is activity let us do activity 1 observing motion of the car let us do activity 1 the activity is based on the moment of the vehicle observation of the car observation of the car students uh, if you keenly observe uh, look at the picture you can see you just look at the pictures and you just to try to answer the following questions as true or false okay students yeah the distance between the driver and the car changes true or false the distance between the driver and the car changes do you see the distance between a car and the driver changing no it never changes okay so the given statement is false and next and next the distance between the car and the gate of the house is changed is it true the distance between the car and the gate of the house obviously it changes because the car is in movement okay the car is in motion yes this is true the gate is fixed to the house but the car is in motion on the road so that definitely the distance changes the distance between the car and the gate of the house will change okay next uh, there is no change in the position of the gate of the house with respect to its surroundings is it true or false there is no change in the position of the gate of the house with respect to its surroundings obviously true because it is fixed it doesn't change its position okay the gate is fixed to the house there is no change in the position of the gate of the house with respect to its surroundings obviously it is true next there is no change in the position of the car with respect to its surroundings there is no change in the position of the car with respect to its surroundings do you see that uh, do you see any change in the position of the car with respect to its surroundings yes obviously you see the change in the position of the car with respect to its surroundings you can see there in figure 3 the car's position is uh, uh, before the gate of the house and then in figure 4 if you see the position of the car is changed the car is after the gate of the house you can see there so you have to understand there is some change in the position of the car with respect to its surroundings yes or no yes now you just imagine yourself students if you sat in the above moving car okay if you sat in the moving car beside the driver would you observe any change in the driver's position no is there any change in the scene you view through the window obviously you see the change in the scenes that you view through the window 
okay the scenes like you know buildings trees etc obviously you see the change and because you are in motion along with the car right yes next point you see there as the car moves as the car moves the distance between you and the landmarks like buildings trees poles etc outside the car will also change this change in the scene you view through the window indicates the car is moving yes this change of the scenes outside the car that indicates the car is moving however your position with respect to the driver of the car remains the same your position remains same with respect to the driver and the surroundings inside surroundings of the car that is you and the driver of the car are at rest yes you are at rest with respect to inside surroundings of the car yes or no yes next but both of you are in motion with respect to the surroundings outside the car the outside surroundings of the car okay students like this <coughs> you can understand what is motion and what is at rest okay next there is a, there is small information given for you students that is a body may be at rest with respect to one set of surroundings and at the same time that may be in motion with respect to another set of surroundings okay students you got the point you got the statement students see for example um uh, let me <coughs> now let me explain in detail about that students uh, yeah you are sitting here driver is sitting here you are sitting here okay and some other people also sitting in the same car okay students yeah if the if if you take inside surroundings or the inside set of surroundings of the car okay inside set of surroundings inside set of surroundings if you take inside set of surroundings of the car and you and uh, driver and other people sitting in the car are at rest got it and if the car is moving from one point to another you are also in motion along with the car with what outside set of outside set of surroundings okay students inside set of surroundings and outside set of surroundings if you take into consideration you are at rest in you are at rest you and other people sitting in the car are at rest with respect to inside set of surroundings and if the car is in motion also you are at rest but with respect to inside surroundings of the car but if you take outside set of surroundings then 
if the car is in motion you are also in motion and uh, the body whole body is in motion no then you can say you are at you are in motion okay like this you can understand what is motion and what is rest students okay here one important thing that you need to remember that the set of surroundings you have to take into account okay the set of surroundings makes us to understand whether you are at rest or whether you are in motion okay that's how you have to understand what is motion and what is at rest what is motion and what is rest and that the time is also comes into account the time is also taken into account that we will see in the next coming classes students and this is for today students thank you for listening and thank you one and all